going, everybody? My name is Xenius, and welcome back to another episode of Tibia Me. We are getting right on into this one. Uh, getting, I mean, we just left off with the seeds, uh, finding the seeds uh, uh, quest, and we are now going into the Castle of Dragons quest. Uh, this is a pretty long one. Uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. Obviously, you can tell by how long this video is. <laughs> um, this one, the majority of what you're having to do is actually uh, find the area first. There's th this whole like maze area that you're having to kind of fight through and, and uh, travel through uh, in order to get to where you need to go. And it takes me quite a while to get there. And I, I didn't want to skip through any of it because I, I it can be a little bit confusing on where to go. Um, so I wanted to be able to guide you guys through the entirety of it. Uh, so that's uh, that's kind of what I'm doing here. That's why I'm showing you every little bit uh, right here. Um, I, I know a lot of people. I've watched some other other people's gameplay videos of Tibia, and I don't uh, I don't super care for how they do it. Um, simply because uh, a lot of the times they will avoid the enemies. They'll go around. I mean, there's plenty of space in this area that I'm going through right now. So, of course, like I could get around what I need to. I don't have to fight every single opponent, but I choose to because that's experience. Um, I mean, if I just did the quest, of course, I think like every single quest on Yaba 2 is anywhere from five to 6,000 experience. So it's, it's really good. It's a really good way to level up. However, that's not what I want to rely on. Like I'm, I've already gone through maybe 10 of these guys and that's over a hundred experience each. So I already just gained a thousand points right there. Uh, and by the end of this all, um, after you fight through all of these guys and you get to where you need to be, uh, you're going to have even more experience. And then on top of that, at the end of this one, uh, you have to fight temp dragons and uh, there's no way to avoid that. Uh, you have to fight them. Um, so it's, uh, I, I don't know, it's just always made sense to me that you would fight the enemies uh, that are in the area because that's an even better way to gain experience. So. That's just my style, that's how I do things. Um, of course, if you want, you can skip ahead uh, to where you wanna be or whatever it is, I, I, it doesn't matter. I mean, this is my video, I'm gonna do it the way I want <laughs> and you guys can watch if you enjoy it. As you can see here, I'm kind of getting tired of fighting through every single opponent, so I'm just kinda making my way through um, because I'm already uh, obviously, I'm speeding this up, like I'm not doing this in real time, so it takes me even longer to get to these places, and then I have to uh, rest and let my stamina and health regenerate, so it takes me even longer. I think this whole video uh, took me around an hour to record, um, but the uh, I, I didn't want you guys to have to, to have to suffer through that, so it is what it is. Uh, this one can be a little bit tricky uh, once you go into, uh, once you talk to Ylang and she opens up her, uh, I like how I do this little dance right here. This is a little, this is fun. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to uh, stop my pet from getting hurt, you know? Um, I don't want him to take any damage, but whatever. Anyway, um, yeah. So uh, later on in this quest, you have to find uh, you have to fight through temp dragons, and the reason why you have to fight them is you need the the materials that they drop. Each one of them will drop a, a white dragon pearl, uh, and in order to open up areas, you have to have them on your person and then drop them on an area on a little keypad type thing. Uh, and of course, you'll see that whenever you get to it. Um, and then there, uh, right before uh, you get to where you need to be, you there will be a keypad that says you're not heavy enough. And in that instance, you're going to need five white dragon pearls in your inventory. So make sure you have five inventory spots open over here on the right. Um, so that you can carry five at a time and then once you step on that little keypad It will open up a bridge so you can go across and then there After you cross that bridge there will be a treasure chest with a black dragon pearl 
And once you get that, you can go back to the beginning and open up a keypad that you were previously unable to uh, unable to unlock. And I know this may be very, very confusing. I may not be explaining it well, but of course I will demonstrate it here um, so that everyone can see uh, what you need to do. Um, and that's kind of the reason why this is so long. First of all, it's a maze and it takes a long time to get to, but also you need a certain number of white dragon pearls in order to get across bridges and then you have to find the black dragon pearl and even I am a little bit confused. Um, there'll be a couple of times you see in this playthrough while, where I will kind of backtrack and uh, go back in, uh, to earlier spots uh, in order to um, in order to uh, figure out where I need to go because I, I do get a little bit confused here um, just because it's such a big area. Anyway, um, I don't know if everyone has saw, but I already made a video uh, a couple days ago about the Discord server that I created uh, for everyone who's playing Tibia, or anyone who really wants to communicate. Uh, I posted the link in the description of that video, but it will also be uh, in every single Tibia Me video that I post from now on. So right now it's in the description below uh, and I wanted, uh, it should be, it's a link that will never expire. So uh, if you are seeing this months down the road or however long, uh, uh, see what I did there? I dropped the Dragon Pearl on the little pad and it allowed me to get across. That's what you have to do every single time you come across a bridge. Uh, it's not going to let you just uh, stand on it and then walk across. You have to leave the pearl there until you cross. So I would go ahead and just start selecting or picking up white dragon pearls immediately so you can just get across. Uh, here you have two keypads, so you're going to need two uh, pearls in order to walk across. Um, but there are plenty of tip dragons, so don't worry about ever running out. There are literally so many. At, at one point, you'll see me get overwhelmed because they just kind of bum rush me. So, uh, yeah, as I was saying, Discord link in this uh, in the description below. Uh, please uh, uh, go ahead and uh, log into it. Uh, there are already a couple of us there, uh, and we're already having a blast and kind of talking about our favorite characters and favorite quests and different things like that. So I'm already enjoying it, and I, I can't wait to make it even bigger uh, so that we can... Uh, really create a community here. Uh, so I've also uh, I also mentioned a video where I started a guild, and uh, you need a certain amount of people. I, it's a it's a new thing that I didn't know you had to do, uh, but apparently after you create the guild, you have to get uh, you have to add at least two members uh, within three days. I think it's three days of. Uh, starting the guild and that's something new for me. Uh, I, I think I talked about in the original video about how we created a guild uh, years and years ago when it was just me and my friends playing uh, and we wanted uh, an easier way to communicate uh, and so the that add-on of you have to create a guild uh, with members within three days otherwise it disappears is brand new to me. Um, that, I had never seen that before and I didn't see the update uh, that included that so um, that will most likely expire, I'm going to be honest with you, because, uh, I mean, I don't think anyone that I really communicate with on YouTube or even in the Discord server is either not a part of a guild or, um, uh, yeah, here, I get overwhelmed right here, um, like almost instantly. And then I lag, I don't know what it, what that's about, like the minute I try to get away, like I start lagging, it's very weird. Anyway. I, uh, I started a guild, it will most likely disappear, and everyone on the Discord server and on, that I talk with on YouTube is either not on World 15 like I am, or they're already a part of a guild. So it's just kind of, um, just kind of a bad time. So if you guys want uh, to play with me, or if you want me to even start a guild like that in-game, let me know. Uh, I usually don't play with guilds. I'm, I'm usually a lone wolf. Uh, I don't I don't really play with that many people. I posted a video, oh gosh, months, maybe even over a year ago at this point, um, kind of talking about how I, uh, 
I, I showed what not to do as a team member. Whenever you're hunting or fighting with someone, this is what you don't want to do. Uh, and I, I kind of, I kind of called her out a little bit uh, by posting the video, but it was. Um, I felt like it was called for. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I just normally don't play with people, but if you would like me to create a sort of guild like that, please let me know. I would absolutely love that. Um, so yeah, uh, I also completely forgot, but one of the things that does happen in game is the fact that your pearls disappear. After a certain amount of time in your backpack, in your inventory, they will just disappear. Uh, so you have to uh, make sure that you use them uh, before they before they leave on you. Because the problem I ran into there is uh, I ended up having only three pearls when I thought I had five, and two of them had disappeared, and I just I didn't realize it. So uh, just be aware of that going into it. Make sure that you have what you need um, as you're going along. Um, so this is getting close to the area that you will need uh, five pearls in. Uh, I think if we go down a little bit and then over to the right, we will find uh, the section, the keypad that you have to step on with five pearls in your inventory. So be aware of that. It is coming up, so this is the part where you're probably going to want to start collecting and not uh, not kind of giving any up. Um, I do believe it's that keypad right down there uh, towards the bottom. Um, and there are plenty, look, I mean look, look around, there are plenty of, excuse me, there are plenty of temp dragons in this area so you, you shouldn't have to worry about running out or anything. Or white, white dragon pearls? Yeah, white dragon pearls. Uh, as you can see I just got the message that I cannot cross without another temp dragon pearl. So. Uh, now that I have five, I can go and step on it, and then the bridge will appear and I can go across. Uh, up uh, over to the right and up is where the treasure chest is with the black dragon pearl. And then you start to make your way back towards the beginning. Uh, once you make your way back there, you're, uh, where the waterfall area is, there's going to be a place in the northern area where you can go through. Um, I'm collecting these white dragon pearls. I don't remember if I need them to get back or not. That's the white dragon uh, ball. Did it say ball or pearl? I don't remember. Um, if, if you step on that red one, it transports you across the bridge that you just took with the five dragon pearls. Uh, and then you make your way, I do believe it's to the left. Um, yep, uh, you're going to want to step on that little red uh, crate right there. Uh, not crate, that red square, and once you are across, uh, then you'll make your way up, uh, and then you'll have to fight through. There are wristless, I think it's wristless, uh, more, uh, when you step across it transports you. Uh, there are more wristless, which will only, uh, are only affected by soul damage, so be aware of that once you go through, uh, that you'll be immediately greeted by the wristless. Uh, and then you're going to want to make your way down diagonally. There's only one way. Thank goodness I am so tired of mazes. I'm not joking guys. I'm so, so tired of mazes. I'm so glad that this was straight in a row um, and that I was able to finish so easily like this. Once you get to the end of this little canyon area, you're going to find two uh, different NPCs, uh, me and some other person that I don't remember. I, I, I apologize for forgetting their names, um, but you can talk to either one of them to finish the quest. They're here right now. Stop! You don't have to kill the Emperor. Uh, how do you know? The Emperor knows you're coming, and he's happy about that. Congratulations, you've made it that far. I don't understand. The Emperor isn't the bad man you think he is. He is powerless, because Minister Henshin has dragged all power to himself. He is responsible for all the bad decisions of the last year, and he even holds him hostage together with his closest allies. That would be us. We can't leave this place. But we're in the temple, so nobody knows that. No information gets in or out of these walls. Really? Yes, really. 
but Henshin, the bad minister, is planning to kill the emperor. The first attack was failed, but justified the city lockdown. Now he needs someone who will kill the emperor by free will, and someone who won't be connected to him. This is where you come in. Uh, uh, if you go in there and kill the Emperor, you do exactly what Henshin wants you to do. Don't let that happen and help us overthrow him. Instead, will you do that, Xenius? You know my name? Yes, Ye Lady Yalang told us. She, she used to be the royal herbalist years ago and a close friend of the Emperor. Uh, why doesn't the Emperor tell everything? Because he can't act freely. The Emperor had a secret love affair with the wife of one of his first guards. Out of the affair, a child was born. This child, I believe, Taro is his name, was deemed secure under the wings of his mother and her husband. Unfortunately, they both died some time ago and the boy is missing since. Henshin claims to have the boy in custody and is blackmailing the Emperor. That is why we can't tell anything, and his boy is in danger. Okay, I'll do it. Great, now go and don't kill the Emperor. Talk to him. He's in the throne room together with the ministers, Chung and Lian. Good luck. And that is the end of that quest. That Again, that was a really, really long one, and I hope you were able to follow that all the way through to the end and wasn't really confusing. I, I tried... Uh, to make it as straightforward as possible. So if you got lost anywhere along the way, please let me know down in the comments below and I can... Um, I don't know if I can actually go back into this area. But if you need me to, I will absolutely try uh, so that you guys can know where you need to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like down below. Uh, if the you want to join the Discord, it is in the description uh, of this video. And if you want to be a part of a guild in World 15, I have a bunch of different accounts in different worlds. Uh, I used to have one on World 14, but that was transferred to World 9. And that's the one I'm currently playing on right now. I have it open uh, over there and I'm kind of checking it on and off. Uh, so I'm currently on World 9. Uh, uh, and I'm also mainly on World 15. The video you just watched is my World 15 account. So I have a couple others. I think one on World 1 and one on World 7 uh, and so on and so on. So if you want to be a part of a guild and join me in hunting, please let me know. I would love to have you. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.